What's happening now, tensions that are building up in Europe, is the fault of the US and NATO. Every step of the way, Russia was forced to respond. The situation kept worsening and worsening, deteriorating and deteriorating at every step. And here we are today, in a situation where we're forced to resolve it somehow. We can't allow the situation that I've mentioned, NATO's further expansion eastward. Russia has accused the United States and uh, the Washington-led NATO military alliance of stoking tensions near Moscow's borders. It has rejected accusations that it may be preparing an invasion of Ukraine. But Russia says it needs uh, pledges from the West, including a promise to halt NATO military activity in Eastern Europe. Despite rising hostility, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said there are no plans yet for an in-person meeting between President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin. A meeting between uh, the President uh, and, and, and President Putin. Uh, I, 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 I leave that for another day. There are no plans uh, to do that now. I think uh, we have to see if, in the first instance, there's any progress dip diplomatically. We also want to see Russia de-escalate to move forces back from the border with, uh, with Ukraine to take down uh, the tension.